Hi everybody, it's Agnes. I've got a viewer's question today from Rifat. Rifat says, Hi Agnes. I have a few friends and I, we were discussing about the law of attraction and mentioned that if we pay gratitude for the things that are not manifested yet or we want them in our life, are improved or improve any relationship, we must say thanks in advance and they think it's a lie lie to yourself and making yourself a fool that if you are saying about your boyfriend I love the way he makes up time for me etc if he's not then it's a lie I couldn't explain this point if you could make a video on this topic please that would help many people to have a clear concept of paying thanks in advance or affirming something which is not there yet thank you well Rifat it is a good question I think that's the whole process of creation is imagining things that don't exist and speaking from it that's the whole thing that Neville talks about living in the end you are activating solutions before they exist that's why you definitely would do this um, it's not lying to yourself it's creating it's paving the way vibrationally verbally mentally in advance so that it can start to create itself and assemble all the particles to bring that thing to you okay so yes I think it is a definite thing that needs to happen it's shifting out of reality and you can't create anything if you don't shift out of the problem so in the case of the example you gave um, if you're saying about your boyfriend I love the way he makes time for me and he's not then you're giving out a different vibration so then therefore that can happen I've used that very thing many many times in relationships and it's worked it's instead of looking at it as you're lying to yourself you're pre-paving you're creating you're living in the end you're living in the wish fulfilled you're living from it Okay, I will put down below the living from it, living in the end. I'll put the ahead in time technique. I will put the I remember when technique down below for those that don't understand this. So, um, yeah, there is some information there for you and your friends if you want to discuss it again. But yes, we must get our heads out of reality if it's unpleasant. And then begin to create in our minds imaginal scenes that imply the end results that we want. And there, then we can collapse space and time from where we are to where we want to be. You collapse that and then it becomes a reality. I will put the collapsing space and time YouTube down below for you also. And yeah, so that's my opinion about that. Good question though. I think... You know, people are at all different levels of law of attraction and law of projection and law of assumption. I think the law of assumption too, this is what you're doing. You're practicing by making this statement about your boyfriend. I love the way he makes time for me. You're using the law of assumption in your words, in your gratitude. You're giving thanks for something before it happens. So it shows trust. It shows that you are lifting out of the old man as Neville says which is the old state my boyfriend doesn't make time for me my boyfriend doesn't make time for me my boyfriend doesn't make time for me and you're hopping into I love how he makes time for me I love how he makes time for me which is the new man the new state of being so however your friends want to look at it however you want to look at it it is always a choice totally up to you that is just my version and my way of doing it and my understanding of it and I can tell you in my life it has worked for the last 30 years applying it so that's it and I will see you in the next YouTube